just express to Pelican Nation of the fans what they need to have, their mojo going into this season, what they need to bring every game night? ESPN1420.com sitting next to Pelicans forward Dante Cunningham at Media Day. And uh, back for another season. Last year, season started, you know, a situation that wasn't your fault but in the press. So you end up signing with the Pelicans. They wanted you. You came here. Seems like you found a home and you really just fit right in. Uh, this is a great opportunity. The organization, the team, the, the fans, um, the way they accepted me, the way they, you know, just brought me in. Like, we were in the middle of the season, middle of a, you know, a run trying to, you know, make an identity for ourselves. And, you know, right then and there, they kind of stopped everything and brought me in, open arms, and, you know, it, it continued to develop and build our team. Was there a point where you weren't sure if you were going to be back in the league? No, never a point where I, I was worried about um, not coming back. It was just a matter of when and where. Um, good situation and you know just getting back to where you know everything was normal and being just right and you you signed that contract you're back here for a couple more years um, coach Gentry today said you'd be likely starting at the three spot to start the season and when Quincy comes back they'll, they'll kind of see what happens from there but confidence in your coach already he's plugging you into the starting lineup what does it feel like oh it's great you know um his uh, his whole philosophy is just you know up and down. Um, a lot more offense. A lot more shots are going up this year. Um, a lot of defense. Um, obviously, that that's the staple of you know being a great team, and you know that's what we need to hang our hats on this year. Uh, you got the mid range game down. Uh, have you been working on the, the three point shot, stepping back a little bit? Coach Gentry said he's not going to make you do anything you're not comfortable with. He's just going to play to your strengths. But have you worked on that three point shot? Is that something you want to? do more of this season in this offense? Yes, I definitely have been working on uh, my corner threes a lot more. Um, it's definitely feeling uh, great, actually. Um, so, you know, just incorporating, you know, shooting the corner threes is getting in position. You know, not to say that I'm going out looking for threes. You know, um, obviously, if I'm in the corner, I'm deep enough. Um, that's where I'm going to set up and uh, let it go. Anthony Davis, obviously a special player. What's one thing you see day to day that the common fan, the common observer, the common media person wouldn't see that makes him special? His humidi <laughs> humility. He's a, a great person just to be around, even off the court. Um, you know, everyone gets to see the basketball side of him, but no one really gets to see his human side. He's just a great personable, um, you know, you, you want to be around him. You want to talk to him. You want to interact with him as much as possible. Well, Dante, we came from Cajun country today, so I, I brought some cracklings. Didn't know if you wanted to try them, you know. I would try that. And if you really like them, I'll give you the whole bag. I but. was going to say, if I like it, you have to figure out where I can get some. It's a nice chunk. It was like pork rinds. That's pretty much what it is. We just put a, we just like to call it cracklings and put a little Cajun twist on it. Try that, definitely. All right, well, hey, look, it's for your time. He's going to take it. Dante, best of luck this season, man. Looking forward to seeing you out on the floor with the Pelicans. Definitely. Appreciate it.